everybody, and welcome to Epic Geek Out, the only show on the internet where Greedo never shoots first. I'm your host, Chad. And I'm Rob. And we're really excited today to be diving into some video games. We're going to talk about the new demo for Mass Effect 3. And I would just like to say thank you to all the support we had for our first two episodes. Keep the feedback coming in. You can reach us at fans at epicgeekout.com. You can follow us at, on our uh, twiddle, Twitter handle at Epic Geek <laughs> it's, a new, it's a new website. Um, <laughs> or Twitter at Epic Geek Out. And, uh, you know, keep the happy emails coming in. That's how the show is going to get better. We really appreciate it. So let's get into the video game review. Let's do it. All right, so today we're going to be talking about the demo for Mass Effect 3. Mass Effect 3 is the third game in a trilogy. Obviously, it's number three. And it comes from creators Bioware. And they are famous for Baldur's Gate, uh, Neverwind Nights, mm -hmm. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, and more famously last year with their MMO, uh, Star Wars The Old Republic, which we're both playing yep. currently. So uh, I'm pretty excited. Soon to come. Yes. <laughs> but we're pretty excited about the game. It's a AAA title. It's one of the bigger ones that's come out in 2012. So Are it's we really a, excited though. Well, we'll see. We'll see in a second, but it's basically an action RPG RPG. So it's a role-playing game, but instead of your typical RPG game, it has the elements of an RPG, but it is an action game. It's a third-person shooter. They redid the combat system for this version, and it's a little similar to some other games which we'll talk about, but uh, we played the demo. There's a mm -hmm. single player and a multiplayer. And so, what did you think about the demo for Mass Effect 3? Um, don't kill me, but I am not sold on the game. Um, I checked out the demo, downloaded it for 360. It's available also on uh, PS3. But it just, it isn't my kind of game. Uh, you know, a lot of different elements. Uh, the action seemed a lot better. I did own the first one, never played through the entire game. It just didn't really capture me, I guess, than other games that we've beaten. I do like, um, you know, some of the elements. They did do a lot of tweaks to the combat system, which I think is good because it was choppier in the past. It, just an element that I never really took to, I guess. Um, in this demo, you know, you meet a lot of characters that I'm sure that the fans of the series, they know them, they know all their names, their backstory. But just playing the demo without really getting into Mass Effect one, you know, the original, and two, you're lost on that. So it was hard for me to just gain an interest to it. Also, the fact that it just, you know, sci-fi elements, you know, there's the Reapers are coming. It's a kind of, it's just like a retread of a bunch of older games. Uh, not older, but it, we've yeah. seen that a lot recently. It's and a this plot line, for sure. And, you know, this is doing something different with the RPG elements, but I'm not sold. Uh, I don't think I'll be picking it up. It, there's going to be, it's going to be a huge game. The fans are certainly going to buy it and love it, I'm sure. But I don't think it's it's a title for me. So did you play just the single player, right? Or did you play the multiplayer? I didn't play the multiplayer. I just played the single player. We were going to try to team up and do the multiplayer. Yeah, I don't, th I don't think you can party. I yeah, for the demo. It so. wasn't a party feature that I saw. Yeah, so I, I kind of just skipped it because I didn't want to just play against random people. <laughs> yeah. And it was interesting. But um, one thing to mention, too, is if you have played Mass Effect 1 and 2 and or 2, you can carry over your characters from the two games. And that's awesome. That's pretty cool. But from what I've seen from Mass Effect 2, and it seems like it might be similar for this one, there's not a lot that really that, that really affects in the game, so oh, to really? speak. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think that the, for this one, there might be some characters that are alive <coughs> based on whether or not you they died in the last okay. game okay. because like when I went through I started with the demo you can choose kind of what which way you want to get into I think you just did the action yeah the um, action the way, RPG like the story right and, yeah. yeah so I did this the the RPG I think mm -hmm. um, so I got to go through and pick my character kind of pick his class pick the name the guy's name Shepard but you get to pick his first name or her name if you want to make it a girl mm -hmm. you can do that as well and you also get to pick some there's some questions there like did this person die kind of create your backstory, which is kind of neat. I think that's pretty neat. Um, but as far as the game goes, um, I played a little bit of Mass Effect 1, whichever one you had, and didn't pick up 2. We're kind of probably the only people in the world that <laughs> <laughs> didn't play Mass Effect 1 or 2. But again, not my really my cup of tea. Mm -hmm. I, I'm kind of like the, I don't really like RPGs a whole lot. 
Oh, I like MMORPGs because I, I was like. Gonna say I like my RPGs yeah. with that. Well, MMO that's because board. I like to get cool stuff and show people my cool stuff. Yeah. Like I don't like to sit there and grind for hours. I have Skyrim and I play it occasionally, but I really just can't sit there for hours and play it like I could mm -hmm. an RPG or an MMORPG. It's because if there's for me there's no stakes. Like there's what am I earning all this stuff for? Um, but the the actual demo I played both the single player and the multiplayer. Like you said, the single player kind of catered a lot to the fans it seemed there's a lot of characters that i wasn't sure who they were but very similar storyline to some other games that have come out gears 3 gears, halo yeah, I, mean, I mean you got those oh my gosh now these bad guys there's some mutant versions of these bad mm -hmm. guys so it's you know it's that the combat system itself seemed very to very much borrow from gears of war and just didn't work as well for me Gears yeah. of War is a lot more... It's not as fluid. Yeah, it's not I mean, snappy. Like, you snap into cover, you snap out of mm -hmm. cover. And I felt like my character was too big on the screen and too centered for some reason. Because um, it was hard. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't really like third-person shooters to begin with. Gears I can get over just because the way they have it set yeah, up. Gears is just great. But um, and then, people are gonna love it. And, yeah. you know, this is just our opinion. Don't. It's a triple-A it's a title. It's polished well. I, yeah. I mean, it's a great... It's a great storyline. It was kind of epic. You know, there's really cool elements to the story. It starts off with, and I think this is well, yeah, the when first you're the only one who can save the world, you know, yeah. epic is the only way to describe it's, it. Yeah, it starts <laughs> off with these, uh, the, the Reapers, which are a mechanical alien race that are basically just out to destroy. Every 50,000 years they come just to right. wipe out any living form in the universe. Yeah. I'm not sure what their goal is to wipe out <laughs> the human form, but I don't know. They just yeah, don't and so it starts out with them invading Earth, which is pretty cool, because I don't mm -hmm. know how much the last couple games focused on Earth. Yeah, I think, I think they visited from, it, but... From, like, the marketing, it's like, and now you're fighting for Earth, which is always something cool. You yeah, know, it's you pretty cool. Save humanity and whatnot, but... Yeah, it's definitely a cool uh, storyline, and if you like this, if you like Mass Effect One and Two, you're gonna like this game, absolutely, hands down. Mm -hmm. But I think that they didn't really try to recreate the wheel, so to speak, to get new players in. Besides the combat system, which I feel like, and they I'm sure they don't on. need to recreate the wheel. Right, this is exactly. gonna sell. I mean, exactly. But quickly to touch on the multiplayer, um, I did play through. I think they have some different modes. I picked up, uh, just played through one match, and basically it's horde mode from Gears of War. <laughs> Pretty much exactly the same thing. There's waves of enemies. The only thing they add in is there's some little objectives you have to do every once in a while, like turn off different uh, things around the map. And turn on a light, turn off a light. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Go to a computer and turn off the little the sensor thing. But um, also on top of that, there's the whole revive aspect where if you get down, you have to tap A really fast, and that keeps you alive. And then one of your teammates can revive you. But you can also get executed by the enemy. So mm. I just... I got a bad feel. I felt dirty. I felt like I was cheating on Gears of War, and I didn't like that about it. But again, awesome. It's great that it has a multiplayer aspect to it. I think that's going to yeah. draw a lot of people in. Absolutely. Sure. So overall, recommend it if you like the other two games. Not really necessarily If it's are. your thing, it's going to be your thing, and you're going to love it. Right. It's not our thing. So. Right. We're just honest about it. Yeah. You know? It's not... We might get flack for it, but we, yeah. it's just not our, not our game that we like to play. So... Good game all around. The demo, pretty cool. Check it out. You can download it now. It comes out mid-March, I believe, um, for PC, Xbox 360, and PS3. Cool. And that's it for another episode of Epic Geek Out. Now it's time to give thanks. So, Chad, what are you thankful for this week? Well, this week I am thankful for the iOS game Temple Run. I was late to the party. Rob recommended it. and I didn't pick it up, mm -hmm. but I just did. And it's... Freaking awesome. It's a good game. It's a lot of fun, folks. It's free, and free that's the best good. part about it. It's free, but there's a lot of cool features that I want to buy now because it was free. And I'm like, ah, it's I just spend coins. money on it. It's just coins. You can get them yourself. I know, but it's just, <laughs> ah, I just want to take shortcuts all the time. Why is that? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, awesome game. Check it out if you haven't already. It's free on the App Store. It's addicting. You use your thumb to run around and do cool <laughs> stuff. Just check it out. It's awesome. So what are you thankful for? I am thankful for the fact that uh, there was an article in Slash Film uh, saying that the Amazing Spider-Man ride down at Universal Studios Islands of Adventure is getting an update. I remember as a child going on this ride and being blown away, taken into the world of Spider-Man. Uh, the whole theme of the ride is the Daily Bugle has this new van and you're a reporter and you're following around Spider-Man as he... Uh, fights all of, like, you know, his normal villains, the Hobgoblin, um, Dr. Octopus, and etc. Um, 
it's awesome. It's a great ride. I recently uh, was down uh, Universal Studios, and the ride definitely is dated. I think it was 1998 um, that, that it was put in. Yeah, we've had a couple years Definitely ago, dated, like, but it's it. awesome that they're going back, revisiting the Marvel Island, which I was the most excited for when I was a kid, because it was all the Marvel properties, you know, X-Men, the yeah. Hulk roller coaster, which I didn't go on until recently because I was scared of roller coasters. But, you know, it's great. I just love <laughs> the fact that they're revisiting the Spider-Man ride. So I look forward to next time I'm down there, you know, checking it out and getting a new pair of 3D glasses. And yeah. So it'll be fun. It, cool. It's going to be great. Awesome. Well, um, have a great weekend. Have an epic weekend, so to speak. And we'll see you next time on Epic Geek Out. Get your geek on.